Alright, so on this machine here, uh, it has a stuck piston in it. Pretty easy to tell that by um, running the extend retract button. Uh, not only will the piston not go up and down, but you also see the, the top plate flex up and down. You should hear some air moving in there, but the piston doesn't move up or down. Sometimes you can turn it on and heat it up to 290, 300 Celsius, let it sit there for a while back out of the program by going back into standby, turn it back on, press extend retract and see if that'll jam it loose. If you break it loose, make sure you get in there and clean out whatever's stuck. Um, could, could have been molten plastic. It could also have been a bit of a cartridge piece of aluminum and you wanna pick that out and make sure it's uh, all cleaned out and be sure to use your wire brush real well in there before you get started and feel free to run that up and down as many times as you can. But in this case, it can't get the piston to break loose. So follow the instructions on the flex press disassembly all the way to this stage. Took the heat guard off the top, removed my controller, disconnected the wires, disconnected the um, airlines, removed the ground. Looks like I'm disassembling the machine. And at this point, what we're gonna do is something a little bit different than those instructions. So instead of pulling the entire base plate pneumatic cylinder off because the pneumatic cylinder is stuck to the heating chamber. I'm going to take these four uh, bolts, these Allen bolts off the, the bottom so I can get the top plate or, or the base plate off. So the machine is upside down right now. So I'm going to use my 730 seconds Allen, take out these four screws. What that's going to allow me to do is get the housing off and get better access to the unit. <clears throat> Oops, got one wire there. Get that off. Get that off. Okay, I've got my base plate. Set that aside. Now I can take my housing off here. You see on this one, this uh, blue hose for the top um, section got stuck as well. So if you have to do that um, to get to this stage, you just want to order another hosing set. So now I've got access to the pneumatic cylinder in a better position here. So what I can do is try to turn this, Let's see if I can get it to disconnect. And by rotating that, I can see these wires are moving. Those wires are connected to the band heater. The band heater's bolted to the heating slug. And so because that is so stuck, what's gonna happen is the um, whole band heater assembly is gonna rotate. So what I wanna do, is I'm gonna try to extend the piston. So I'm gonna, it's upside down, but I'm gonna pump, pump a little bit of air into this bottom. Gives me some space there. Depending on where it's stuck in the, on the uh, piston stuck in the pneumatic cylinder, it's gonna depend on where, how much space you get. But it gives me a little bit more access here. And what I'll do is I'm gonna push these wires through. Get that out. And just push everything through to this side of the heater divider, okay? So I can see in there all kinds of shaved up materials and it's just a mess. So what I'm gonna probably end up having to do is just rotate this until I get the whole assembly to come out. It's just kind of a pain, but something you might wanna do here is uh, get those four rods out of the way. Make life a little easier for you. Okay. So this is pretty bad. But I'm just gonna rotate this thing around. Make sure those wires keep rotating. I'm not getting stuck on anything. So 
if it's got this much stuck, you've probably got a big problem inside to deal with. I'm just going to keep rotating this. So it pops loose. There we go. Let's see if you can see this here. You can see all the all this caked in here. Wires are wrapped around it too. But it's just a mess. Bits of cartridge, molded plastic, just hasn't been cleaned very properly. A lot of busted cartridges and bits that have come down inside of it. So that is the cause of the problem and probably due to poor cleaning. All right, <clears throat> now the fun part begins. We gotta get, this obviously gotta get disassembled here. And so the way uh, we're gonna do that, we're gonna have to take apart the pneumatic cylinder because of the whole thing, I think. So the shaft in here has a, another piston down inside of the cylinder. It's just round so it can rotate. This is so stuck on here that if we rotate this, it just spins the shaft in, this, in the piston inside of there. So what we got to do is we got to get the pneumatic cylinder opened up to the point where we can actually hold the, the bottom of that shaft and unconnect it. So this is going to be quite the challenge. So we will get you to that stage here in a second. Okay, so you've got this out. <clears throat> if you've run into this type of a problem, you're gonna wanna request the pneumatic cylinder disassembly tool, which is a tool we had to actually manufacture, but it is a uh, tool that allows you to get these slotted shoulder bolts out. So just uh, call customer service and request that. Um, and then, it'll fit into this slot. It's kind of hard to show on the video, but there's a slot in that bolt and you'll see it when you get your cylinder part. Put that in there and then use the ratchet to break it loose. So I've already broken these loose. For the sake of the video. Take these bolts out. This is an older machine. We made a change to this plate, um, I don't know, midway through, I guess, the life of the machine, and it's got a slot in it, so you could break this whole assembly off of this, what we call the heater divider. So if you look at your heater divider and you, it looks like you got a slot in there and then all there is is the paper insulation, go ahead and slice that paper insulation with an X-Acto knife or a utility knife or something, and then you can separate the two and it'll just make your life a little easier not having that plate on there. It'll be black as well. Let's get these bolts out. All four of them off. Said this is an old machine. I think this one's based on the number, probably eight years old, nine years old. So it's gotten a lot of use, but it's due to be cleaned up. So that's just the thermal cutout switch which is just an overheat protection. So if it gets too hot down by the cylinder, that resettable thermal cutout will trip, break the cycle of the heater until it cools down. 
And if it continues, you'll just notice that it's not heating up properly. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Break that part. See all this crud that's down in here? It's just dirty. Okay. So now we've got this bolt here, or the yeah bolt nut, whatever, and that's connected to the shaft. So we can now hold this and twist this, the heating chamber, um, band heater, all that assembly, and try to break this loose. So I'm gonna cut the video again and uh, get this mounted up in my vise so that we can break that loose. Okay, so <clears throat> got a vise here. If you don't have a vise, you could have um, a helper hold this with, this is a three quarters, I think, yeah, a three quarter inch wrench, uh, a pair of channel locks or uh, vice grips or something, have them hold this. I'm going to load this into my vise so that it holds that side. We've got this whole assembly. We need to twist this off of the. You try to break that piston loose. So, what I'm going to do is use a pair of channel locks and see if I can get this guy to what we're hoping to have happen is for the piston to hit. There we go, that was easy. The piston head threads into that shaft. And since the piston is stuck in the, the heating chamber or the heating slug, if I can just untwist, basically unthread the piston head. Get this whole bit out. So, heating slug, band heater, thermal couple assembly. This can now come off. Got this all disassembled. The age of the machine and how nasty this is, how black the um, shaft is. All the crud that's in, I mean, this is just, all this is roasted. I would replace all this stuff I got cartridge material stuck in here it's just a mess so in this case if this is what yours looks like <clears throat> I would replace the pneumatic cylinder which is going to come with new fittings everything I would order your hoses if you had to if you had to cut your hose the hose sets cheap get yourself a new set of hose again if you haven't had much work done in your machine and it's um, you know been seven eight years that you've used it well it looks like this you got piles of materials all black and all that stuff i would replace those parts inspect your um, band heater and the thermal couple especially this one i can see tears in the sheathing and um, everything is just damaged you've disassembled the machine at this stage um, to go through all this trouble again after you assemble it to find out that your heater or your band, your thermal couple excuse me is is damaged is a lot of extra work so for a small amount of money I'd replace that thermal couple for sure band heater maybe it's up to you but um, personally I don't wouldn't want to do this all the time so you got it all disassembled to this stage 